We are starting our morning off in Key West here at one of our absolute favorite spots. It's the Cuban Coffee Queen. I've got my iced coffee. <sighs> my delicious fuel for the day. And we've ordered the Key Wester. It's a breakfast sandwich. It comes with two eggs. And then we got ham and pork on it. So it's kind of like a breakfast Cuban sandwich. Very excited for that. Like I said, we absolutely love this spot. We are down by the water and uh, ready to explore today in Key West. Starting off the day here in Key West with this beautiful breakfast Cuban sandwich. We got the pork on there, we got an egg, we got ham. Um, just pressed on Cuban bread. There may be an element or two missing, but it's close enough. And this is a good way to fuel your day here in Key West. Mmm, <laughs> that is so good. Well, last time we were in Key West, we actually got out on a boat and uh, went around the island. It was absolutely beautiful. We have uh, a little one now. So getting on a boat is not as friendly as it used to be. But if you're in Key West, it's a great opportunity to get out in the water. And if, if you're a boat enthusiast, this is one of the best places in the United States to go for boats. I mean, it's, there's just every kind of boat here. Um, everything is obviously nautical themed, kind of being on an island. Um, but it's just fun to come and walk around the marina because so many of these boats are so beautiful. Well, after that terrific breakfast, we actually headed over to kind of the largest beach here on Key West. Now, a couple of years ago, a friend reached out to me and they're like, hey, um, me and my husband were beach bums and we, you, I know you guys have been to Key West, what do you think for beach vacation? I said, well, what do you like to do? And they're like, well, we like to lay on the beach all day. It's like, you might want to go somewhere else. Now you can lay on the beach here in Key West, but it's more of a rock. It's less than, it's not necessarily a island that's got like long miles of white sand beach, but it does have a few good beaches. One's over at Zachary Taylor Fort Park. The other one right here is kind of the more public beach. That's Smathers Beach. And um, it is a beautiful beach. You get white sand, you get teal blue water. Um, it sits right on the south, southern side of the island. And, um, you know, there's, there's ample space. And if it's not under construction, you should be easy parking. And I hope they put that back in. Unless you're staying in a resort that's kind of built their own kind of sand area or its own little beach. Key West is not an island that has a ton of beaches. So if you want to come to the beach, you kind of have to make a trek over here to Smathers Beach. I think there's like one or two hotels that sit right here on the south side where you can walk across the street and get to it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. So we're kind of here midweek um, in the high season. Beach is not super crowded. Um, the water temperature is good. Um, we got plenty of space. So if you do know how to navigate the island and where to go, you can definitely get a beach vacation out of it. The bigger draw for Key West, in my opinion, is more of the old um, maritime kind of Caribbean architecture, um, the historic old town, kind of the boating, and certainly when well, in December, January, and February, being able to go somewhere in the United States that's kind of reliably 70 degrees and sunny, um, that's definitely a big plus. All right, we're gonna head back to the old town area and grab a late lunch. The funny part about being on island time is that time slips away pretty quickly when you're not paying attention.
All right, we're heading over to Garbo's for lunch. It's a food truck that serves tacos. I think they've got fish tacos and like Korean barbecue tacos. And they kind of sit outside their, um, there's also another building there that ends up being a bar. It's called Hank's. So you can sit outside, they got live music, you got food coming from a food truck and a bar to serve you some drinks. So a uh, place we always hit up when we're in Key West and looking forward to going back right now. We put in our order at the food truck. We're getting a Korean beef taco, we're getting a fish taco, and we're also getting a mango hot dog. So we worked up a beach hunger as we usually do, and we're ready for our food to come out. Also went into Hank's and got two beers. They're local craft beers. One's an ale, one is a lager. We forgot which was which as we were walking out. So we're having a fun little guessing game over which is which. We think this is a lager, we think this is an ale, but we'll never really know. They both taste really good. They both taste good. We think that's the ale because it's got a, it tastes a little different than like a lager that you usually get, which is pretty standard. So that's Key West math. It's not very accurate. All right, so believe it or not, I'm gonna start out with this hot dog, even though the tacos look absolutely delicious. This is a pretty unique hot dog. It is a uh, bacon wrapped hot dog, served on kind of like a lobster roll bun. And underneath all that, it is loaded with what just fell out there, which is mango. Here we go. Really good hot dog, um, great bun. I love the mango in there. It balances the heated jalapeno and then the bacon wrap hot dog. Absolutely delicious. Going for one more bite. Mm -hmm. Beautiful tacos here. Big pieces of fish. We've got mango on the bottom, cilantro and cabbage and jalapenos. Looks really good. Awesome flavor coming through with the mango, jalapeno. The fish is really mild. I think it's probably mahi-mahi. It's kind of like classic for fish tacos down here. Another awesome thing about this spot, I don't know if Adam mentioned it already, but they do have live music. They actually just finished up, but they're starting up again later. It's a great spot to sit outside, listen to music, and have an awesome meal. All right, final taco here. And just so you know, if you come here and order, has two tacos in it. I was very stupid thinking each one just had one. So we kind of overordered. But this taco is probably my favorite like bite on the island. It's Korean beef, it's marinated, it's got a slaw underneath it, and it's topped with sriracha. And I'm not gonna wait no longer. It's just good. I don't know why a Korean beef taco fits this so well, but it just hits the spot. My turn for this Korean beef taco. Looks awesome. Woo, <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Wow. That's awesome. I know we get this every time we come, but I kind of forgot how delicious it was. So good. This might be one of the best bites on the island for sure. Yeah, that was good. We just finished up at Garbo's. We love that spot. And just, you really can't beat the atmosphere. And I mean, the at atmosphere down here is just, I mean, every place is pretty incredible, but to sit outside, listen to music, they've got the bar, they've got the Airstream. Just great vibes all around. So that's one of our favorite spots.
So we've come over to Mallory Square after that delicious lunch and we're gonna get ready for sunset. Behind me is called Sunset Key. And they have cottages and I checked and it was 700 bucks a night plus all the taxes and fees. So I'm issuing a challenge. If this video gets 100,000 views, we'll come back to Key West and stay there. But we need you to like, comment, and subscribe because that boosts the algorithm and uh, helps, us, uh, helps us out. So we'll come back and make a video if this video gets 100,000 views. That's an Adam and Madeline guarantee. And you actually don't need to be in a bar to be drinking and have a live band playing. You can literally do that on a boat here in Key West. If that's not a great way to enjoy a sunset on a sunny 70 degree day, I don't know what is. Well, we are here at Mallory Square, which is one of the most popular spots for sunset. You get a great view and uh, it's about an hour until sunset. So people are starting to stake out their spots, but um, it's a great spot to walk around. I think we are going to find a spot to maybe have a drink and relax while we wait for the sunset celebration. Beautiful day here. We've had a great day so far in Key West. Um, but yeah, like I said, sun's setting at 6.20. It's about 10 after five, so. We're gonna hang out for a little while. There's like people selling stuff. There's uh, singers and performers out here. So it's a lively atmosphere. I mean, but it's kind of like that all over Key West. It's just fun. We just have fun when we're here. Well, we stopped into the Salty Frog and had a tasty beverage while we waited for sundown. Cool little bar right off of Mallory Square and uh, nice vibes, nice music, really, uh, really relaxing time there. Now we're heading back, lots more people heading over for sunset. You can actually walk down further and there's less people and a little bit less of a circus going on. $30,000. So there's a lot of cool boats down here. I've never seen one this big. It looks like the boat from Succession. And that was Key West Sunset. We're grabbing a light dinner at Eaton Street Seafood Market. Um, they sell fresh seafood, but they also cook it up. They got some dining area outside. It's kind of got an old school dinery slash uh, seafood spot vibe. Um, so we got a fr fresh red snapper blackened fish sandwich and conch fritters. We're looking forward to that. All right, right here we got this beautiful red snapper sandwich. Look at that, fresh fish, red snapper, one of my favorite fishes. Um, looks like lettuce, tomato, some sort of aioli on there. Nice soft bread. That's so good. I think red snapper is the king of fish in Florida. You know, people like their hogfish, you know, people like their grouper. Red snapper. All right, so we have some conch fritters. We are here in the conch nation. 
is it conch or conch? We're from the Midwest. Our tendency is to say conch, but we think it's conch. But there's little strips of conch shell or conch in there. Conch, conch shell. And they've given us cocktail sauce to dip it in. Also some sort of... Tartar? No, it looks Ranch? like a peppercorn. We're gonna try it, because I don't know what it is. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's good. These are like hush puppies. And I'd say conch, probably pretty similar to like uh, clam. Inside of a clam, maybe. Could be totally wrong, I don't know. Sometimes the seafood, I just make it up. But I usually enjoy it, so. Well, a fun, delicious dinner at Eaton Street Seafood Market. A great way to end our day here in Key West, and we're looking forward to seeing what tomorrow has in store for us as we continue our adventure here. For breakfast today in Key West, we are heading across the street from Blue Heaven to La Creperie. It's a super cute spot. We saw it the other night and uh, clocked it. So we're back in the neighborhood for breakfast. We have placed our order for breakfast here at La Creperie. We decided to go for a galette, which is a savory crepe. We ordered the Italian, which has prosciutto and mozzarella cheese on it. And then we went for a sweet crepe and we decided to get the key lime crepe. We've had key lime pie, we've had key lime muffins, but we have not ever had a key lime crepe. So I'm very excited for that one to come out. Our crepes have arrived here. I am going to start with the key lime because there is ice cream and whipped cream and it is melting. So you can also see there's lime zest and graham crackers crushed on top. Okay, I've got some cream. Go. Oh. So thin. So delicious. Oh my gosh. Not an overpowering key lime flavor, which I think is really good, especially for breakfast, which is what we're here for. Um, whipped cream is delicious. Mm. Ice cream is really good too. <laughs> this is a good way to start the day. Mm. All right, well, I have the galette and it's our Italian galette. It's got prosciutto, mozzarella cheese in there, tomatoes. It's made with a, a different wheat. I think it's buckwheat, but it could be totally wrong. I like to start my day a little savory, so here we go. Well, that was the southernmost point buoy. It is a major attraction down here. Big line of people waiting to get their photos and selfies. So um, I recommend getting out here early in the morning if you can, because otherwise you have to wait. And it's pretty hot right now. So we opted not to wait. And you could just skip it. Or you just come over and you see it. Take a little video like we did and keep on keeping on. There's a lot of things to see and do down here, but it's a fun spot. It's cool to check it out, especially if you've never been down here before.
Well, where I'm standing, sort of over there, the southernmost points right there. I'm not a mapping expert, but something's telling me that that buoy is maybe not the most southern point in the continental United States. Maybe it's the most southern public utility. While, while Madeline visits the Butterfly Conservatory with Evie, I'm just kind of walking around here at the southernmost point resort area. It's really not an area that we come very often. It's, it's um, kind of chaotic down here. There's just tons and tons of people. Key West used to have the big cruise ships come in and they just drop people off for the day. But like everyone would just head down the street to this area, take a picture of the buoy. It was just madness. They've dialed back the cruise ships, but it's still just where a ton of people hang out. And you really don't have to come down to this area to enjoy the island. I can promise you that. So we just went through the Butterfly Conservatory. Um, such a cool experience, absolutely beautiful in there. Uh, I've never done anything like that before. So you walk in and there are just beautiful butterflies everywhere. I heard um, someone inside say that they've been there for 21 years. So pretty impressive um, collection of butterflies, I suppose you'd say. Um, pretty cool operation, but just a beautiful path you walk through. There's flamingos, there's turtles, there's construction going on naturally. Um, but really cool experience. If you have kids especially, I think that's a, a, that's a, a fun stop. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was a cool stop. And now we are going to keep rolling here in Key West. See what we can find next. So behind me here is Truman's Little White House. So during the 40s and the 50s, he would come down here, spend time, draft legislation, and uh, vacation in Key West. I have to say, if you're gonna pick a place to have your home away from home <laughs> when you're the president of the United States, I feel like Key West is a pretty great spot to do it. So you can go inside, there's tours and there's a museum inside. But um, we are just kind of exploring this area down here. This is um, this area over here where the house is, is called the Truman Annex. And it's a really beautiful neighborhood. I think there's some like vacation rentals in this area, but it seems like it's mostly um, residential and a uh, very nice quaint area. So our lunch came out here eating good. We got the banh mi sandwich and we've kind of been looking for some different bites on the island. This is a newer place that just opened up. Look at how beautiful the sandwich is. It's got pulled pork on it. It's got uh, cucumber, uh, lettuce. You got a uh, Asian slaw there. Just a 
beautiful looking bite. That looks like fresh baked, fresh baked bread as well. So let's go in here. Oh yeah, Bon Mi has nothing to do with Caribbean Islands, but it really fits well um, when you're down here. We also got the citrus herb chicken. It smells great, it looks great. It also came with, um, it also came with mac and cheese. <clears throat> they cook all their meats right here. And uh, you can tell, and look at that mac and cheese. That looks beautiful. All right, eating good. It's a good spot on the island. Now we're gonna take the long walk across the street and go to the Old Town Bakery for a sweet treat. Although they did have cookies that you can get and they look good, but maybe they got them from the bakery. All right, we popped in to Old Town Bakery. Beautiful raspberry danish. That's good. Evie's gonna like that later. We got our sweet treat. We just only, you know, half of it or three quarters of it. Calories don't count when you buy it for your kid. Well, the sun has set here in Key West. We had a fun afternoon spending some time at the pool. And for dinner tonight, we're actually over on Stock Island, which is the island immediately to the east of Key West. And there's a Cuban restaurant here called El Sibony. And it is, there's two, there's one on Key West, there's one here on Stock Island. Um, we wanna go to a different spot after this and get uh, kind of a final uh, cerveza and a uh, piece of key lime pie. But first we're gonna have a really terrific Cuban dinner. Um, it's one of these spots that, uh, the locals and the people who frequent Key West uh, go to all the time. And so we're looking forward to that. We love Cuban food and it's a good spot. I got the Sibony steak. Beautiful, beautiful skirt steak here. Mmm, cooked medium. I also have plantains, rice, and beans. Mm. All right, get a bite. Oh, that's delicious. Seasoned really well. Mm. I also got it with the plantains. Also delicious. Always kind of my favorite thing on the plate, I have to say. Um, yeah. Really good, huge portion, too. Yeah. We love finding places like this. This just feels like, it feels familiar. It feels kind of like home. All right, the dish I got is picadillo. It is a ground beef dish. It's got usually potatoes, um, peppers, onions, garlic, and there's actually olives in there as well. Um, shout out to one of our favorite YouTubers, Travis Robert, who I believe makes this in his RV mini teeny all the time. So if you like watching Traveling Robert like we do, um, this is why I got it, because he's always making what I think is this dish. So it's my first time trying it. So let's go. I'm gonna actually take some of the meat, put it right on top of the rice there. Just get a nice bite like that. All right. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. The sauce that it sits in is uh, it's just full of flavor. I think that they use some sort of cooking wine, probably some tomato, probably some broth, um, maybe even like something like soy sauce, um, but it's, it's really good. We have a few Cuban restaurants in Chicago. I gotta check their menu and see if um, Picadillo is on there. However, um, if it's not, I'm gonna be trying to make a homemade version of it. This is really good. Terrific dinner at El Sibony. Um, huge portions. And unfortunately, we're leaving tomorrow. 
so we couldn't take it to go. Um, but we we wish we could because it was that good. Um, we are gonna head over and get to one last stop and get a get a beer, get some key lime pie. Having a final drink here at a beach bar. It's not really a beach bar, it's a marina bar. But our hot fish cherries. I got a key lime lager. Stick with that. Find key lime as many things as possible. Also got a slice of key lime pie. And Madeline got a yingling. Two beers we can't get back where we live. Last key lime pie here in Key West. Hog fish areas. That's homemade. That's a little different. It's good. If you want to see more from our adventures in Key West, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.